Hey guys, it's Clovis. We're here with uh, Thoughtsy. How are you? What's up? Hey, uh, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, we are both here again uh, for episode number 10 of the uh, Dota Redux mod developer commentary where we didn't develop the game, but we developed the mod, so that counts, right? We fixed all the problems, all right? They did all the hard work, and we just fixed the shit that they rushed, so <laughs> good, good for us. fixed most of the problems, yeah. except for Dekura Rider and School Guardian. Oh yeah, we uh, we managed to fuck things up a few times. Like we patched stuff in, and then uh, it didn't work. <laughs> so uh, if you want to explain that, why well, skip this intro? Uh, well, we've got like one fuck up each, so um, it's all good. Nah, there was like a few fusion conflicts, so it wouldn't work. But we'll, we'll fix it. We fixed one of them. Yes, it, it's all fixed, but uh, you won't see that in this because I'm still playing on like uh, 1.0 because <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's the weirdest. It's just shit that honestly doesn't really matter unless you were trying to do all the new fusions, collect all the cards or something, but um, I I don't know. I'm probably not going to fuse. I don't even have the materials to make uh, that Skull Guardian fusion, so uh, I'm not going to bother, I don't think. But um, Is there I... any ritual fusion that would go with this deck? Like, I can't think of any... Uh, because. well, I have the Fiend, uh, leader ability, so maybe, um, maybe... Chakra or something. Yeah, Chakra. I think that's a good fusion anyway, it's just a good Fiend fusion. It's basically, it's actually quite similar to Summon Skull, like, you use three stars. You need them. Don't have the materials, though. Do we have the materials for Zera? No. I doubt it. No. Uh, should we spoil oh, it? Well. I mean, at this point, uh, someone's probably figured it out already, that Z1 Zony guy, I don't know how you say his name, but he's figured out, like, all of them, and he was, like, he went through all the warriors, and we had to tell him that one of the fusions didn't actually work, because we fucked up, and we found through him, so that was, uh, that was a bit of fun. We got debuggers in our Discord. <laughs> yeah, thank god, we should have got him to play test because I'm fucking terrible. Oh shit, we got a reincarnation yeah That's i thought good. you'd remember that yeah we uh didn't need to reincarnate for the boss but now we can and i actually i do we want to like reincarnate for a yami because we beat the first side of the game we don't even have a terrain spell it's actually kind of bad but... we should go for like i said a yami or a toon world actually oh yeah true 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 toon world would be very very good um this might oh shit okay all right well i'm well... sorry but i'm not gonna yeah if we I I played this game before, you know, just a little bit, just a little bit. And in my experience, if you don't take a y uh, a field spell, you will not get it back for like twenty thousand rolls. So um, I think <laughs> I think we should just uh, yeah hold on to this and you know give and to the mystical elf is not bad. The mystical elf. Yeah, and it's that was thirty decals now. Yeah, not a bad roll. It's um anything that like this outweighs a tremendous fire. So if that was ever a threat, it's just like a really good card. Regen, LP regen is like always valuable in this game. But um, it's a bit higher deck cost now, but it still it doesn't matter. Like we need to only drop the deck cost like a little bit, maybe like remove Dark Hole, um, Psycho Puppet. I love him, man. I love him, but he's kind of not doing any favors for us. Yeah, um, he kind of sucks. Yeah, he does. Do we really need Shape Snatch for these uh, first duels on this side? Because like the side is uh, quite a bit harder than the other side. However, the first duels are the first duels at the end of the day. Yeah, true. We'll have to uh, talk about uh, Weevil when we get to him, because he's actually... So, uh, something we did, you um, helped... Co you convinced me to change him, and it's like... It was it was one of those decisions where I was just like... I could realistically argue either way, so because you were like actually insisting, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give you this one, and... Uh, it, it wasn't even like a big deal, so I was just like, yeah, fuck it, we'll just do that. Um... I just want to keep my deck cost low, though, because that way we can duel what's-his-face uh, Weevil, and then after that we can just move on, like, we can go back to, like, a thousand deck cost and just beat the rest of the duelist. Intentional, obviously. Yeah. Um, maybe we should, uh, yeah, let's put a plant in there. So we got some fiends with our plant, so that would be good. Um, so I basically, I took out, um, like, one OP card. I took out Dark Hole, which apparently is still a new card. Ooh. But we can put that back in later if we want. Um, so I think we're ready. Ready to shred. With our Yami. I did put that in right. Surely I did. Uh, it's not like we're going to draw it anyway. If we don't, we'll find out the hard way when we duel this guy, because... Uh, yeah, it's not a very good matchup for us unless we play our own terrain spell. Um, so the thing that we were split on that we eventually changed was my idea, right, so... Primarily, it was always intended that this side was the second side, and you would 
So basically, you progress through the game. I really, like, focus really hard on the progress through the game and the cards that I allow the player to get to some extent. And then you get to this side, and basically everyone's supposed to be tough to an extent. Everyone, like, offers a different challenge. Um, the challenge for Weevil, right, I had, um, on top of what he already has now, he had three Jirai Gumos. So, like, <laughs> one out of three times, he just opened with, like, 3,200 attack. Um, and I thought this was kind of fair because you could kind of tell that Jirai Gumo was, um, you could tell what card it was. Um, if you'd farm Tristan, you would have, like, Sword and Shield or whatever to just hard counter Jirai Gumo. Um, but eventually it was like, well, people are realistically gonna just not read the readme and start on this side, so we may as well, um, make this duel a bit less, uh, sufferable, insufferable, rather, yeah. so. Yeah, we just dropped it to one Jirai Gumo, basically. Yeah, and we traded which, those to, to Kuwagata Alpha, which wasn't really a big deal. A thousand less attack, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> it's a weaker card, but, like, far weaker card, but, um, you know, it's a bit more balanced for starting on this side. Yeah, it, it, still, it at least gives the play the option. a bigger challenge. Oh yeah, for still sure. Still a bigger challenge. Right off the bat, I he's got increased strength for same type friendlies and extended support range, so... If he's gonna play, like, any cocoons, even without equips, it's like 3,000 defense. So... Yeah. <laughs> uh, the idea of that is, like, you're not really supposed to beat those things, you're supposed to fight around them. Um, but yeah, this guy obviously is a lot tougher. All these duelists are a lot tougher than the base game. Um, but if we can bring out the Yami... Well, cool. Yeah, then well, we can, um... We can probably do quite a lot. Is this still Weevil AI? Actually, if you don't want to spoil it, then that's fine, but... Oh no, it definitely is. Yeah, you know me, I love yeah. talking about the AI choices and stuff like that. It's like my favourite thing. The relationship between the AI, the map, and the deck is basically... was like 90% of what I was doing and what I enjoyed doing, so it's... I love talking about that stuff. Um, but yeah, so with, um... I guess you can talk about Weevil AI, his condition that most, some people probably know by now, but you may as well do that while I, uh, have a bit of fun set up my board. Well, as soon as I saw him move to his right, I knew it was Weevil AI, um, but because you always want to activate your field spell on, on the left-hand side for you. Um, yep, but, he but I was sneaky. But yeah, you can go. Keep, keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a condition to uh, play, what's it called? Uh, Cocoon of Evolution. That's like his special combo. Or... No, no. The three, uh, the equip thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you have um, more than three wins or losses, I think. Is it three wins or losses? It's at least three wins. At least three wins, okay. My bad. Um, yeah, he'll uh, start using equips. He doesn't fuse because there's no insect fusions, but... Or um, is there? The or is there? Yeah, um, I really hope he does a fusion because this guy never fuses anything except Cocoon. So if anyone sees him fuse two monsters, I hope their jaw drops. And they check the graveyard and like, oh, what is that? Um, because yeah, it's a pretty cool moment. Uh, oh yeah. It's almost like I don't even know what to play. I could play like any of these. Let's just see. Bait him out. Yeah. I was like expecting this to be infinite dismissal. Um, but yeah, just quick comment on this map. It's basically like a relayed out version, except you can't do the old like a speed run trick. As you move forward, play here like a strong forest card and then you flip it up move it here and then on his first turn he will move here into its attacking range and then you attack him and then the next turn you attack him you just win so a lot of this stuff i kind of designed so you just can't like do these crazy two to three turn win strategies because it's kind of ridiculous um so yeah that's why this labyrinth yeah. tile is here and you can kind of you do end up playing around this area which is fine i don't think all maps have to be like seven by seven uh, so, but, you know, you can always sneak around the side. Ooh, actually, maybe I should. I think I'm I think I'm think going to. Otherwise, we're going to bulldoze all these people, I think. So maybe I should go on a rogue mission to collect something. Oh, something. Mm. I see how it is. See ya. I <laughs> love that guy. Alright. Um, probably could kill this, right? 3,200. Uh, 2,700. Maybe not. Ooh, it was a negate attack. Yeah. That's why it didn't activate. Yeah, should have guessed that. Because I, I honestly forget, like, you know how the base game, he has block attacks? I removed that, because it's like a warrior theme card. The only way to actually get that is from Tristan. Uh, unless you get a copy and then go to Deckmaster K or whatever. But um, 
This guy drops uh, Infinite Dismissal and Negate Attack, which are two pretty good trap cards, actually. Um, let's see. You could probably defend with that Reaper of the Cards, right? Yeah, I was thinking that, because what I was actually thinking of doing is, like, literally just kamikaze with Hourglass of Courage and uh, buffing my Soul Hunter, because then he probably wouldn't be able to get past it. Uh, but I may as well defend first and set up a board. Oh, shit. Oh, he went for the other one. Yeah, rough. I guess that makes sense. I think we would have uh, died to that, though, with the uh, Reaper of the Cards. Ooh, Although look he would have been out of that extended support range. Yeah, so he can't, like, attack, he can't move twice and attack me here, so once he's out of this range, he's kind of like, um, well, yeah, I can't, I can't kill him there. Uh, I wanted, I wanted to go, I wanted to cut through here, but I'm just gonna have to go around this way, I think. We can, we can kill him there with, uh, our increased strength if we move up, but do we want to do that, or do we want to get Well, there's down? the... Forest, or yeah, we can actually. Yeah, true. I just move up because he doesn't have a trap card. Uh, good point, actually. It's funny how, like, we just without even looking at a hand, we just kind of assume that we're able to play Soul Hunter because, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I, two, I actually didn't take that yeah, two, consideration at two all. Two thirds of our fucking hands just have Soul Hunter in it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't even know what his level is, but Reaper of the Cards has a leader ability anyway, so, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, quick comment, you might have noticed he didn't actually fuse this. Um, he just played it out of the hand. And yeah, this guy, I'm pretty sure he has, like, three Lava of Moth. He can drop Cocoon of Evolution for the player to fuse this. Um, but ultimately it's like, um... He just plays these right out of the bot, so it's just, like, way more consistent that way... This guy doesn't do shit like play a petite moth here and just take 2,000 damage from the player. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to bring out. Like, two summoning level doesn't need a fuse. Uh, so, pretty good. A lot of these things I just add to make the AI less shit, like less inconsistent. Also, he's uh, out of summoning power or something. I don't know what that is, but um, yeah. Good for us, I guess. Yeah. I, uh, I don't even know how much I needed to turtle. I can't beat over this, I guess, but I don't know. I'll give him another turn, maybe. We'll see how we go. Maybe he destroys the hourglass. I guess not. I guess not. Hmm. Alright, fuck it. it. Might be a trap card, so I may as well hit this now. Oh yeah, and it's funny because we talked about the other day, um, like getting all the cards. Like, sussing all them out, which is when I realized I uh, I messed up and made Mechaleon unobtainable. The intended way in this game to get Larvae Moth is actually to kill a Pupa of Moth, and then it appears on his field, and then you kill that and get it from the graveyard slots. That is literally, like, the only way you can get that card in this game. So cryptic. But I'm like, oh, only people who are collecting old cards will really be bothered by that. And I think it just, I don't know, gives the player a bit more to look at. So, yeah. I wanted to create kind of like cryptic ways, like problem-solving ways to um, get some of these cards. Alright, he just eats his card oh. because... yeah, go. Silly boy. I've started a new playthrough of my own. I was talking last time about how I was playing uh, Spirit of the Mountain. Yeah. I'm actually playing on console now. Oh yeah, sweet. So what uh, deck did you pick? Did you pick the Winged Dragon deck? Nah. A lot of people have been picking the Wind Dragon deck, and uh, I think that is one of my my decks that I built as well. Yeah, so definitely was yours. Yeah. Yeah. You like to, you always... tend to favor the two ones. Well, uh, that just kind of uh, happened. That was like happenstance. I just really like um, the design of Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, to be honest. Um, but no, for this playthrough, I started Water Dragon Fairy. Oh, so that's sweet. one of yours, definitely. Yeah, have you played with that one before? No, it's really good though. Um, it yeah, it doesn't annoy me the how ones. the fish yeah. and aqua females don't fuse into Dark Witch, but you know, <laughs> neither here nor there. Well, do you mean uh, fairy and female? Uh, you said fish yeah, they and something. Fish, fish and, and aqua female. female. Aqua. Yeah, but why yeah, would they, they don't fuse, fuse into Dark Witch the if there's no fair, uh, fairy? No, it's female and fairy. Yeah. So I, I can't fuse them with, with another fairy. But it's okay. Right. That's always been the case. Yeah, it's um, it's whatever is higher attack, right? Or does it turn into seven colored fish, which is the same attack? 
I don't know. Anyway, um, let's uh, give the players a little bit of a spoiler. Boom! Look at that. How cool is that? That is OP. Yeah, it is. Um, I actually nerfed these cards, and it's funny because... I fucking knew this would happen. No one, like, I think maybe one person, if any, out of everyone who's got these cards has actually noticed I changed the SP value. That was my way of nerfing it. Instead of gutting yeah. the card or, like, nerfing the fucking woodland sprite attack back to 900 attack and 400 defense, making it useless or changing the kinetic soldier, I basically am like, alright, it's the same card, it's OP as fuck, but it's ev uh, 7 SP now, so if you want to play it, you got to wait to your second turn, basically. Um, that's how I balance these. Uh, so you can't just spam them, like, every turn. If you have, like, a... You can't do Arsenal Bug Turbo now. You need to wait to your second turn to play one, and then, like, wait another three turns, or play Gate Dig, and then play a second one. Um, so it's still... These cards are still really, really strong. Good one-offs. But, um, it's a lot harder to just have a deck full of OP three-star monsters, which is... Yeah. But it's still good. And also, most of the, uh, treasure card slots don't show up. Uh, sorry, the images... Don't appear on the screen because they're not preloaded, but this one is because it's a Destiny Draw one. Um, so yeah, oh, Arsenal yeah. Bug and another one which we may or may not be able to access later uh, will also show up. But most of the hidden card pictures don't, which makes them kind of mysterious. But yeah, anyways, that's an Arsenal Bug. Isn't that cool? And then, yeah, we can go ahead and just kill this guy. He didn't really put up too much of a fight just because we're that strong and that Yami terrain really, really, really helped us. If we didn't get that, then it would have been terrible, but first... Try reincarnation is crazy. I actually can't believe it. First try, first draw. Mm -hmm. Insane, insane luck. That like I, you couldn't ask for better, right? The amount of times I tried to get Yami, and it took me like ten minutes of refreshing. Um, I'm guessing the reason why people never noticed that uh, Arsenal Bug and such were uh, nerfed is because you can never get them in vanilla. Well, you can, but mm -hmm. uh, no one, no one tr tries for them, and no one. Barely anyone knows that you can even destiny draw them. Yeah, which is the only way to get them. They're, in the game, right? they're like, yeah. HOW TO SUMMON ARSENAL BUG in caps, and I'm just like, you gotta destiny draw it. And they're like, WHAT IS DESTINY DRAW? And I'm like, I made a video on it. One of the guys on that video actually commented that that information was fake and bullshit, and I was just like, man, like, this is literally information ripped from the game, like, it could not be more correct unless I actually made mistakes throughout the entire video, and it's not... It's not a brag, it's just like, I literally read GMS's mm. document on it that he extracted from the game, and then this guy is like, telling me I'm wrong, and it's just like, shut up dude, go play Pump King, like, <laughs> you don't know, you don't know anything. <laughs> oh god, I'm an asshole. Um, anyways, should we, uh, do Rex? We were only, uh, 17 minutes in, so we could probably beat this guy yeah. and then do the next episode after that. You start Rex, I'm gonna be back in two minutes. Yeah, go for it, I'm gonna edit my deck anyway. Gonna add in uh, probably another negate attack. Actually, we can add. We can take out some like crap, quote unquote. Um, if we left the plants in, we could make pump kings, but uh, that's betraying the essence of my soul. So I'm probably not gonna do that. Um, uh, you know what? I dark hole select so OP, but I really just want to add it in because it's just so fun. Just be the one-time trump card. Uh, Arsenal Bug, I mean, that's great for putting Forest down, but we got a lot of Fiends, I don't really want to do that. And the true strength with this comes if you have an Insect Deck Leader, which we do not. We don't even have, like, an Insect at all, apart from that guy. Merry Christmas. It is snowing quite heavily here. That's all, yeah, that's nice. all I had to... For. <laughs> Someone just wanted to tell me that. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas! I mean, even though that was a week ago as of recording, and then maybe like a month ago as of <laughs> actually uploading the video, I am so jealous of getting snow, but I will say one thing, it's actually pretty cool today, it's sweater weather, which is something I love. I hate summer here with a passion. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm actually, like, I'm just chilling wearing a sweater, like, it's so comfy. I hate... I just hate wearing shirts every goddamn day, I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. I want to wear sweaters and feel comfy, which is what I'm doing right now, comfy gaming. Right, here we go, um, Rex Raptor. He says he'll crush us to a pulp with his dinosaur deck, but he's lying because he doesn't really have a dinosaur deck anymore. Um, dinosaur decks are fucking awful. If I was going to make a dinosaur deck for this guy, it would basically be the exact same deck, but um, like with better leader abilities. I don't think people kind of understand this, but the, the deck that this guy has is probably like the best possible enemy 
dinosaur deck you could make in the game was like an AI duel. Like it literally has all the best dinosaur cards, counters all the other wasteland types. Um, you could have replaced like sparks with tremendous fires or some bullshit like that, but um, ultimately fucking dinos are terrible. And if I gave this guy a dinosaur deck on steroids, it would have been the same difficulty anyway. So I gave him a reptile deck to show people that reptiles actually are way better than dinosaurs. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, if you want to build a dinosaur deck, you probably just want to use reptiles because they have the fusion synergy for making dinosaurs quicker than you can actually play them normally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It's it's crazy. There's like a full on like this deep synergy like the reptiles have with dinosaurs that are better than dinosaurs themselves. Um, one of the pr prime things is all the water attribute cards. Um, so reptile and rock makes Brachioratus if it's high enough attack, and they're all that's water. And all the good, like literally all the good reptiles are water. So you can have like uh, Power of Kai Shin alongside, um, what's it called? Race Body Heat instead of Invigoration, which is more damage. Means you can not only use uh, Sebek's Blessing to buff your reptiles, uh, but also uh, Aqua Chorus that will buff Brachioratus instead. And also just Serpentine Princess, like 900 points when flipped face up. This is a stupid card. Like, it, it is ridiculous. It's so stupid. Um, so, yeah. There is an insane buff when it comes to uh, nature effects. Mm, it's better than Mystical Elf. You can't fuse to make this card, but it literally is the most reliable, uh, the highest attack reliable flip effect. Um, also, not one last comment. Effect, sorry. Yeah, not nature effect. It's flip is OP. Seriously, three Serpentine Princess. Okay. Three Serpentine Princess gives you 2700 attack on all reptiles. It's just ridiculous. Like,. Again, everyone talks about blue eyes this, blue eyes that, but it's like, well, this literally gives you, like, 90% of, of a blue eyes plus your original monster's attack. Um, one last comment on this. Um, you might be wondering, like, if it's Serpentine Princess, why didn't we give it female equips when we gave other questionable cards female equips? Uh, the original name for this card is Naga, and um, it doesn't... This card isn't really supposed to be actually female, I don't think. They just changed its name, um, because... <laughs> God, man, it's so ugly. It really is. It is really ugly. They try to make the most ugly thing possible. Um, but yeah, goddamn. Very, very ugly. Alright. I don't even think it would look better with hair. No, it anyway. wouldn't. Unless it covered the entire face, maybe. But Jesus. Um, hmm. It's always, it's always a soul hunter, isn't it? Um, I always like to play nice trap. Yeah, that's what this yeah. window is basically for, is a playmaker. Like, or you have machines, you can flip it up, play it here, and go aggressive if you want. But, um, yeah, quick comment on the map. This is a very, very blatant design, and I think the only time in the game where you're just literally forced to take one path, essentially. Um, the idea is you slow down enough for the enemy to create turtle. Otherwise, this strategy would be absolutely pointless if you could just rush it. So this is the one duel where I was, like, literally just... Um, give no fucks, just force the player to take super long, and then um, try and make the rest of the map look kind of somewhat interesting, so it's not terrible. Um, it's supposed to like resemble a cave or something, I guess. I didn't think too hard about it, I just tried to make it not totally crap. Um, but yeah, needed to force the player to slow- oh shit. Nice. Strong. Yeah, is it Seven Marauder? No, it's not. Yeah, that's a card you gotta <laughs> Yeah, it would be, because we would not be getting rid of that shit. No chance. Not like we've got zombies anyway, right? Yeah, I was I was saying this before, I could have left more plants in my deck and used Pump King, but that betrays <laughs> betrays my own soul. Like I, I couldn't even imagine doing that. You don't want to solitude that thing? No, I could have, but uh, I got negate attack anyway. No, I don't I know. We can yeah. bait it out, yeah. I'm hoping to draw a quick card ASAP. Um, but yeah, cool thing about Deckmaster K is it's very happy to dump. So a lot of these cards that have like a lot of these vanilla monsters of varying stats, it doesn't really matter what it draws, it's just going to play the most powerful thing and cycle through all the crap in its deck. So you can see Crocodiles is like the lowest attack 4 star it has, and it's terrible, but... This just cycles through its deck a bit faster, which is nice. Reptiles are oddly cute to me. I don't know why. Well, especially this he's guy. The grappler. <laughs> he's not cute, he's just like... mischievous. 
The grappler. Actually, grappler's kind of endearing. No, to an alligator. The grappler's kind of endearing though. He's like, because his animation is pretty goofy. I always want to like attack into him now to see <laughs> what it is. Um, I'm not gonna do that though. I got two soul hunters. I don't really want to dump them. Uh, maybe I'll do this, right? I know it sounds ridiculous, but I just wanted to check its rank, actually, and I could have done that with the other one, Major. Let's just do this, because I'm bored. <laughs> Free XP. I want to see if he attacks us, actually. That would be funny. Probably not, because it's not, uh, increased movement. But yeah, um... Soul Hunter Leader would be pretty nice for us, if we could get the card. Um, yeah, that's true. We, we don't even own a copy of it. Yeah, we have to, we'd have to go to Deck Master K to get it. Yeah. Did he who moved back right? Oh, is it slot obtainable? I wasn't sure. Soul Hunter, yes it is. Arguably one of the better ones, considering it's um it's it's like Bakuri box but better. It's like one hundred attack less but one SP less, which is better, I'd say. Again, like I'm really like I'm really crazy over SP and how this game functions as mana, like for monsters, but the difference of seven and uh, six and seven is if you have a deck full of six star monsters, you can bring the monster out every second turn, rather than like every three turns. Um, so shit like that makes a huge difference, actually. Maybe I do want to solitude him. Go attack me. I'm hoping that's something really crap. I don't know. I don't even think he has three star reptiles. He's playing all of his equips though, which kind of sucks. I'm guessing it's not Crocodilus. Whoosh! Because he played two of those. In the graveyard, anyway. Yeah, hopefully not. Um, remember, um, Manawada and Fabler, like, top-decked pretty much three Mirror Force? But it was it was fine, because then once we it was sent to the graveyard, it was like, cool, we don't have to worry about that card anymore. Um, Magic Jammer, let's do that. Oh yeah, prevent him from playing that Sebex Blessing or whatever. Yeah, any of his cards really. Well, except Shift, because the t the AI doesn't know how to make how to use Shift properly. Really, it just kind of uses it if its deck leader is in threat as a way to like bring a monster closer to its deck leader. But without um, without <laughs> it was Grappler. It was Grappler. Damn, I wish I you enabled Battle. Oh, I yeah, mean, of damn. course I'm scared. I didn't have I don't because uh, unless it was Crocodilus, it was going to be above twenty two hundred. Oh. Certified AI moment. Oh my god, ah, really? Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> I've actually not seen that before. I've seen the attack oh. over his own card before plenty of times, but never on Paralyzing Potion. That's actually terrible for him. Nice defense draw there as well. Yeah. Um, and before this guy defends, which actually made sense as to why he defends, uh, we should probably kill this thing. Yeah. This guy doesn't have traps. I'm pretty sure I made um, I made sure he had Paralyzing Potion instead of trap cards. Oh, just to vary it up a bit. Suddenly misplayed. Very fittingly. <laughs> yeah. That's actually the first time in playtesting I've seen him do that, which is funny enough. Um, first uh, time I don't I've know. seen it as well. Yeah, like we surely we both seen the AI flip up an attack. We've saw that we've seen that in this playthrough. Um, Bakura was doing that. Okay, well that's not Paralyzing Potion, but it was worth checking. Oh uh, yeah, uh, Paralyzing Potion is now 40 deck cost from Reincarnate only because this card is stupidly overpowered in the base game. I have no idea, like, why they kind of let you just have three copies of cards like Paralyzing Potion and Shadow Spell in the game without even trying. It's kind of ridiculous, but... Oh well. Traps is something really good to go for in general. Oh wow, Shift, Speak of the Devil. Magic yeah. Island. Saw that coming. Not like it would have jumped in. Oh, it wouldn't have, because you know what I reckon it would have done? It would have moved Brachioratus, <laughs> and then it would have been uh, stunned anyway. We'll find out. We'll see what this card is, actually. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, actually, fuck, yeah. Yeah, that's really 100. bad. Got down. Very bad, because <laughs> it's still within the range. We need 2300 to kill this, so we just need a, another Soul Hunter. <laughs> of course we have a Soul Hunter. Of course. Uh, but this Grappler's a bit dangerous now. He's going to get... Uh, released soon. 3200 Grappler. This is Rex. This is how Rex is supposed to like go, right? Just all these shitty right. cards, but they just end up getting like 5,000 attack. Oh man, if this guy defends with Serpentine Princess, I'll be upset. 
Because I actually probably won't be able to get past it. Like, ever. We still have, like, no equip, so if this guy draws more damage than us, we're actually kind of screwed on him. Praise the Lord. Yes, thank God. Alright, um, cool thing though about whiffing, or just using the, uh, shift in general. Is it still 50 debt cost? I kind of included this purposely so that you can gain this and, well, reincarnate it, honestly. Um, I don't, I don't think shift is that great of a card in this game. I'm sure there's a lot you can do with it, but I always, I think, reincarnating for something like a Roaring Ocean Snake, or even like a Skull Knight is just way, way better. Um, he hasn't played Serpent Marauder yet. He surely is going to play one soon. Surely. Uh, every time I've fought this guy, he's played Serpent Marauder pretty Yeah. Early, so that is kind of surprising. But and then he usually plays like a second. I use a, I want to threaten his deck leader to moving over, like, yeah, that card, whatever the hell it is. I just really want to move away from the grappler, because I'm not going to be able to get past it. Here it is. Look at this guy. 3200. Uh, we can deal with that, though. We can deal with that. Ooh, nice courage. Yeah, this card is just broken. This card is just really making life a lot easier for us. Does this guy have, uh... Did I give this guy Gorgon's Eye? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, uh, because I was... There was a point where I was, like, trying to balance this guy, but I really, really wanted to give him Gorgon's Eye because of the whole reptile snake theme. Um, so, I, yeah, I gave this guy one Gorgon's Eye, which is fine. I think... Enemies having full range trap is good. I didn't give it to, like, Panic or anything, spoiler, so I was like, I need to give someone who isn't the final boss, like, a really tough card, kind of in the same way that Mai has a mirror wall, where it's kind of troublesome, but, um, yeah. So we'll lose, uh, like, 3,000 life points to this guy, actually. But, oh well. Maybe we're gonna lose more. Oh, I guess not. Alright. No oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Eee, that's kind of sucks, because, um, yeah, no Serpent Marauder to nerf its movement, but uh, we at least it's not got a, uh, any buffs on it, so... We do need to be careful, actually, because if he draws Aqua Chorus, he's gonna use it, because he's got three uh, Water Monsters out. Uh, Alright, cool, we've got um, Dream Clown, OP. Alright, <laughs> I'm so stupid. That is classic casual gameplay right there. Have you, how many times I fucking have you... knew you were going to do that. I didn't, I didn't wait in time. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you didn't because, man, I remember um, Panic, versing Panic when I was a kid. You'd get stunned by that and then you'd keep defending anyway. Okay, uh, luckily, it didn't matter. Yeah, the effect. Flip, destroy, <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> oh, God. There we go. Oh, there's the second order. Yeah, so I, I just have to talk about this card, right? Um... Well, it's face-up defense position, cancels all movement. It cancels his movement as well, which kind of fucks him, but it just neutralizes, basically, any advantage you'd normally have being able to rush this guy. So the entire point of this duel is he slows you down, buffs his stuff to, like, yeah, something crazy, like 3,000 attack grapplers. Um... Hey. Yeah, dark energy, not bad. Pretty neat. Uh... I almost want him to stay here, but he's not. He's gonna move here, isn't he? Oh, for sure. Um, I do want to get rid of Gorgon's Eye, though. But yeah, usually you run into Serpent Marauder, and it's just way harder to rush him. And then, um... Yeah, he can actually get off the ground, which is all he needs to do. All he needs is time, this Duelist, and then it kind of plays itself. Damn, where's the reptiles when you need them? I know, right? They're on his his side. Um, hmm. Do we? Do we dare? I think we do. <laughs> You're kidding. Look, I I'm not gonna fucking I play this in face up defense mode. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I just want to create a zombie okay with 1800 attack, that's all I want to do here. Um, shit, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Sweet, uh, I actually really want, yeah, I really wanted that to happen. Cool, Paralyzing Potion, that's perfect actually. Kind of want to keep Serpent Marauder alive, otherwise this guy is unchained and he's going to get destroyed. Uh, 
the I think the Brachio Raiders will try to move towards me anyway. He wants to attack me directly, but can't because of Serpent Rotor and the AI sucks, so um Ooh, this is dangerous. Please be a spell or a trap. Oh, okay. Nice. I think we Easy, win. yeah, guaranteed win. Guaranteed win. Unless I make some sort of input error. Yeah, Remember you... to put a card between you and Brachio Raiders. <laughs> Definitely. Although it's not, right. not going to be I mean, fatal. We could take the hit from that. So. Yeah, and then he'd die. But still, just for the flex, we'll use this guy. Uh, swordsman from a foreign land. But uh, I think I, I'm pretty sure I would have said this like probably twice in the playthrough already. He's not called this in the real card game. Apparently, foreign is a bad word, so they had to call him Swordsman from a distant land. Um, so yeah. Apparently foreign's just a bad word. It's, it's not even like this was, This game came out 2020, like this was 2003 that they would have changed the name of that card. Oh well. Christians. <laughs> Actually, that's, that's the reason for every other card change except for that one. Yeah, probably. except this one. Um, <laughs> trying to think of other stuff, but um, yeah, that's a really interesting one, because it's not like... It's funny well, because... You had Red Eyes B Dragon instead of Black, because they couldn't put Black on a card. Yeah, but that's because of uh, black magic, not racism. <laughs> it's the same as, um, uh, yeah, black magician being changed to dark ma magician to stop any like ties to like the occult or whatever. Also, we didn't get the hidden card here, but this honestly, this map has like the worst hidden card of all of them. I reckon I just kind of put it there because lore. It's like a uh, OP card in the real card game, but kind of sucks in this game. Uh, I think we want shift for reincarnation fodder. All these other cards, like, I could get more Reptiles for the Fusion's sake, but they kind of suck. Um, I kind of already got copies of them. Well, there's a Reptile. Hey. Oh, three in a row Ooh. coming! Yeah. Let's nice. go. Alright, so, really good. we got, like, a perfect slot. So we got um, the 50 deck cost card we wanted to. We got two Reptiles, which we probably don't have three copies of, so we can stick them in. And we get a three in a row. What's it going to be? Are we going to get Blois Ultimate Dragon now? Or no, we're going to get Super Warline. <laughs> I reckon we're going to get Super Warline. You reckon Super Warline? Yeah. I'll throw out a second Psycho Puppet because I got two Psycho Puppets <laughs> yesterday. All right, let's do it. Uh, I mean, there, <laughs> there was no way we were getting that. This card, it's cool, but it's not not very good. Spoiler. Um, it's actually kind of crap. Uh, but yeah. It's actually worse than both Curse of Dragon and Gaia. Yeah, actually. Well... Is it worse this than guy you can make a certain I am BLS. We already uh, we already spoiled that. We definitely would have spoiled that at this point. And I reckon if someone hasn't figured it out by now, then that's their fault. Because uh, BLS is definitely the most common fusion that's been shown to players. I've had people like cry to me about that duel, and I was like, <laughs> I feel bad because um, he will play BLS. They'll attack into it, and it's like uh, thirty eight hundred attack, and it's just like. Uh, yeah, the whole point of this duel is you're not really supposed to fight him where his cards are strong. Um, I'm not saying 3,000 attack is easy to get over, but like, um, yeah, I think people really get it. Uh, so, anyways, that is 38 minute mark, so I think that'll be the end of episode number 10, and I guess we will come back, and I don't even know who we're gonna duel, but, uh, I guess we'll find out, uh, soon enough. So, um, yeah, I guess that's us signing out, and thanks for watching. Peace. Yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.